comes to laser resurfacing in darker skin types, particularly Fitzpatrick skin types 5 and 6, is, there's a considerably higher risk of pigmentary abnormalities and in some cases scarring depending on the laser that's used. So up until recently, uh, options that we had for laser resurfacing for darker skin types were very limited. I would uh, turn patients away when I was in training 10 years ago. Currently, thanks to newer lasers that uh, are less ablative, uh, including fractional lasers and non-ablative laser resurfacing, we actually have uh, safe options for darker skin types. That being said, there still are considerable risks for post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, and therefore, um, special precautions do need to be taken before one does a laser resurfacing procedure in darker skin. When it comes to specific lasers, uh, I prefer fractional non-ablative lasers for resurfacing, especially for acne scarring. And when using these, it's important to bear in mind that you have to be conservative on the treatment density. That's the density of microthermal zones per centimeter squared. The higher the treatment density, the higher the risk of post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. So you want to stay within a very modest range, lower than what you would do in a lighter skin patient. Also technique is important. Uh, when doing, using fractional non-ablative lasers, for example, I ensure that there's adequate time for cooling of the skin in between passes. In this particular laser procedure, one goes over a treatment area on usually eight times. It's uh, eight passes with the laser that I personally use. I ensure that I allow adequate time for cooling in between passes because you want to avoid excessive bulk heating that could injure the skin to the extent where you have a higher risk of hyperpigmentation. Second, you want to use good pre and post treatment precautions. I prefer using hydroquinone 4% cream twice daily for at least two weeks prior to the first fractional laser treatment. I continue this hydroquinone uh, treatment four weeks after the last session and I found that that has helped reduce my rate of post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. The area where there is less experience is fractional ablative uh, laser resurfacing. While there are some studies, primarily in Asian skin types, there's a very limited data in terms of uh, uh, skin of color. And what we do know is that the risk of hyperpigmentation following fractional uh, uh, ablative lasers is considerably higher than fractional non-ablative. So it should be done with caution, and my personal opinion is to use non-ablative fractional lasers. The bottom line is you, there are lasers for resurfacing that are, can be safely used in darker skin types. However, you do have to proceed with caution because there still is a considerable risk of post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. I think the most important strategies in terms of reducing that risk, number one, using conservative treatment densities with your fractional non-ablative lasers. Number two, using a pre and post uh, topical regimen that includes a hydroquinone agent and sun protection.